Yeah, you know, I've enjoyed it. It's been a great experience, you know, getting to meet the coaches that you see on TV and then getting to meet the players that are just so high profile. And it's, it's been a great experience. And it's obviously tough. It's a job interview for, uh, a job interview for us. So it's tough, but uh, we're trying to enjoy it at the same time. Does it bother you about all these things that are being said about you? No, nah, it doesn't bother me. <laughs> You know, it was a great experience for me. I learned a lot from him. He helped me learn a lot about defense, and which it's helped me get to this point. Uh, you know, I have the utmost respect for him, and if I had to do it again, I would. Definitely. I think it's an important process. What are you looking forward to most? I can't hear you. What are you looking forward to most playing in the NFL? Um, you know, competing with the guys that are at the top of the game right now. Uh, trying to be like Tom and, and Peyton and guys like that is, is something I, I strive for uh, after I watch the way they play the game. They control the game at the line of scrimmage, and, and that's what I like to do. Um, you know, I, I would say I'm a great person, but I'd also tell them, you ask the coaches and ask the people that I've worked with before, uh, and if you want to know about my character, ask them and they can tell you. I mean, I can't tell you. I mean, I, when I saw that stuff, I laughed about it. I mean, it's, you know, can't control it, though. You don't feel like there's any issues? No, not at all. Not at all. Um, you know, I, met, I had a great experience at Michigan. I met a, a lot of great people, Coach Carr and Coach Leffler, uh, one of the main reasons I went there. Um, you know, and it was a great experience for me. I learned a lot of things, but the transition was because of the offense. That's why I left uh, to go to Arkansas. Um, Coach uh, Rodriguez had Denard do what he wanted to do, and obviously if you watch me play, I can't do that. So I thought it was best if I went somewhere else. I did talk to Coach Rod uh, for about 10 minutes, and we kind of decided it would be best if, you know, if I didn't stay. Oh, definitely it's tough, especially when you have to stay out for a whole year and not play. You've been playing for six to eight years, and, and now you have to sit out. That's what was tough for me was having to sit out. Uh, but uh, it, it was the right decision for me, though. Ryan, how did you approve last season? Standard, standard of the year. So. I'm definitely trying I, to How'd you approve last season? Um, just, you know, taking check downs more or getting that completion percentage up and, and, and not taking as many shots when, when need was not beat. Um, you know, 7,000 plus yards and 60 touchdowns in two seasons. I, that's how I respond to that. I can throw 80 plus. Yeah. You know, I can't really speak on their mental game. Uh, I can speak on what I've seen, but for me, my strength as a person, as a quarterback, is my mental game, knowing defenses and, and recognizing and you know knowing what, what they're going to do on certain down and distance. So that's my strengths. Um, you know, the way they, they play the game with the defense. You know, they go on a lot of W cadences and things like that and try to get the defense to show their hand, and, and I've, I've tried to do that also. Brian, there's some guys who go into this process with no one's really talking about their character or their approach or anything like that, so maybe the interviews aren't as high up on their list as some of the combine stuff. For you, knowing you, you want to come out right out and dispel some of the stuff about you, how important are these interviews for you in terms of this whole combine picture versus the stuff that happens on the field tomorrow? You know, for me, I believe they're they're very important, but also for other players. You know, a lot of times you don't get to be around the coaches, be around the management like you do here, and to be able to be within three feet of them talking face to face, you can talk man to man, and, and that's important for all of us. No, I mean, you know, I, I don't worry about what they do. I can only control what I do, and, and I've always been like that. I don't try to take control over things that I can't control, and, you know, people can talk about them if they want to, but I'm going to go play my game. You know, we really didn't go over that. Coach Petrino, you know, helped me get about what the process was going to be like, but we didn't really talk about defenses. Uh, you know, that's what I'll do with whatever team I play for. Oh, 
I mean, if people talk about them, obviously, you know, they can keep circulating or whatever. But, you know, I can't control that. And that's, you know, that's why I don't even want to talk about it because there's nothing I can control about it. I mean, obviously, somebody did it for a reason, you know, right before the combine, you know, before the draft. But, you know, well, that's, that's the last thing we'll talk about that, though. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to talk about it right now. I'm talking about it with the teams, and we've discussed it, and, you know, everything's good. <laughs> um, the fans playing in Arkansas is just like, well, that's that's Arkansas's professional team. We don't have a professional team, and and they they treat us like that. You know, you go go out to eat, and they, everybody wants to come talk to you, and it's a lot of fun. Everybody in Arkansas is nice, and and they come to talk to you. So I miss the fans definitely. What was one of your favorite moments as a Razorback? Uh, my favorite moment probably was uh, the the game against LSU uh, to put us in the Sugar Bowl. You know, I really think it will. There's a lot of great players in the SEC, and a lot of them are here. Uh, the speed of the game is extremely fast, and the complexity of the defenses in the SEC changes from week to week. They don't play the same defense every week. They change, you know, every week. So going into the game, we have a plan, but then at halftime, we have to readjust. The same thing you're doing like, out there. I don't know about the swagger. I feel like I have confidence in myself, and, and if people see that, and they see that. Some people don't like my, my confidence, but, you know, I can't do nothing about it. Yeah, I met with a few. I, you know, I don't like to discuss that business. You know, that's the club's business and my business. Hey, Brian, how does your size affect your ability to run right here? How does your size affect your ability to move around the pocket and extend plays? Well, I think it helps me be able to see uh, down the field and, and kind of feel things coming. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to run run around the field and things like that. I'm going to move around in the pocket and, and find the open guy. Brian, a question about the allegations. I understand that, but like I said, I'm not going to because I don't want to. We're not going to talk about it. I'm talking about it with the teams. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.